In today's video, we're going to take a little trip down memory lane and take a look at another one of my daddy's pistols, this Beretta 21A Bobcat, chambered in 22 long rifle, made in 1986. Tell you a little bit about the pistol, and then we'll take it to the range and see how well she does. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me for, as I said, a little nostalgic look at this Beretta 21A Bobcat. That was my daddy's pistol. Uh, this one was made in 1986. Uh, Beretta USA, made in USA. I think these things are still uh, in their catalog today. Uh, this one has the wood grips. They're available plastic as well. So instead of me rambling on, Here's a little ironic word from today's video sponsor, and then we'll get down to the old uh, tabletop and take a closer look at this before we go to the range. Today's video is sponsored by Hog Holsters. Hog Holsters are made in the USA and Arizona, and they are without a doubt the most comfortable concealable holster I've ever tested. You can save 10% on your order at Hog Holsters by using the coupon code Survival on Purpose, all one word. That's hogholsters.com. Thanks to Hog Holsters for sponsoring today's video. Okay, here's a little. Um, Closer look at the Beretta 21A Bobcat, chambered in 22 long rifle. Uh, again, this one was made in June of 1986, according to Beretta. Made them in the USA, Beretta USA. These pistols are blowback designs. They're single action, double action triggers. So the first round, if your hammer's, if your hammer's down, it gives you a double action, pretty long double action, double action pull. And then all the subsequent, subsequent rounds, are going to be single action and this one has a pretty good single action trigger i was i was pretty impressed with it i don't know if i can show you that i don't want to, i don't want to dry fire it but as you can see it's got that much take up but there's no really not much pressure there when you get to that wall though it's very short and crisp it has an inertial firing pin so according to wikipedia's uh page on beretta this thing is safe to carry with a hammer down it does also however have a thumb safety here on the side that is a both a slide lock and a and a um, external safety. This thing has no extractor. I'll show you that in a minute. One of my favorite features is this tip-up barrel. That lets you load it easily. You can load the magazine separately. The magazine release, by the way, is down here on the on the uh, left-hand side of the grip at the bottom. You can load seven rounds in the magazine, load the magazine, and put another round in here and load it. You don't have to do any racking. You don't have to touch the hammer. You don't have to drop the hammer, lower the hammer, anything you want to do to it. So it's very safe. It's also very easy to pop it open and make sure that it's not loaded. This one has an aluminum alloy frame and a steel slide and barrel, either plastic or wood grip panels. This one, mine has grip, wood grip panels, which I think are pretty cool, with a little Beretta emblem on there. And then it's four and seven eighths inches long, three and three quarter inches this way high, and at the widest point, it's about one and one eighth. With eight rounds of 22 long rifle, it weighs 12.9 ounces. So let's uh, take this thing to the range now and see what we can do with it. You want to? Before I took the uh, 21A to the range, I did lube it a little bit, but I did not clean it. So took it to the range and started with some old ammo I found in the box. Old 22 long rifle, notoriously unreliable, but this did okay. At 15 feet, not too bad. Right. So then I put some new ammo in it at 15 feet. Wound up with about a two inch group, which I was not too ashamed of with these, considering that it's a little bitty barrel and really non-existent sights. I took it to 25 feet. So I wound up with a five inch group at 25 feet, which I was pretty happy with that too. Then I went to 15 feet again, just to try to shoot as fast as I could. And um, I wound up with six shots in the A zone. So not bad there in my opinion, at not, not as fast as I was shooting. So I took it home, cleaned it and lubed it 
and went back to the range again. So it, it, uh, 15 feet had all in the A zone. Uh, 15 feet again. I had seven rounds in the A zone, the heart box, and one touching it, so still not too bad. Took it to 25 feet to try that. And out of eight rounds, I had six in the A zone and had one that I call a dead grandmother. Not good. So then, just to be really silly, I took it to 50 feet. And out of eight rounds, I had two in the belly and two dead grandmas. Not good. So back to 25 feet. Thought I'll try some headshots slow at 25 feet. Uh, out of eight rounds, they were mostly to the right, and again, one dead grandma. I, and I don't hate grandmas. So I brought it back to 15 feet and tried to do some fast headshots. And they were all on the right side of the face there, kind of, and again, one dead grandma. So, for me, this is a, a short range pistol, for sure. Chug Norris once made a Happy Meal cry. Okay, so let's uh, see if we can land this plane and talk about uh, pros and cons of this thing. So some of the pros for me, A, it's small, very concealable. Um, it's uh, really fun to shoot. It doesn't bite, it doesn't bite me like the smaller um, 950 that, that I tested earlier, but it feels pretty good in my hand. It's reasonably accurate if I take my time and don't try to shoot it from too far away, but at 15 feet common, really, really at common self-defense distance, it's reasonably accurate. And it's also um, just kind of cool, I think. Now for cons, it's not that powerful around. I mean, it's okay, but it's not, it's not great. There's only eight rounds with one in the chamber, so that's not a lot, but one of the biggest cons for me is the sights. It's just like the uh, 950 I looked at. It's just got a little hump with a groove in it and this little blade here. And again, I pretty much used the silhouette of the barrel and kind of tried to find a gleam in the middle there because these progressive lenses I'm wearing just don't, don't help me with shooting at all. But a two inch group at 15 feet for me with this gun is not that, not that shabby. I'll take it. So anyway, that's the Beretta 21A. I think these things are still in production. You can still buy one. I hope this has been helpful. Again, like I said on the 950 video, if you have any more information about these, these, these particular guns, I'd be really interested in hearing what you have to say in the comments below. I'm trying to learn all I can about them. And I really appreciate you watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.